Why, hello there. I'm Maris. This is Game Request. This is Golf Club Wasteland. This is a really cool little golfing game. So, I'm playing, I'm going to show you the story mode. There's also like a challenge mode and things like that, like standard golfing games. But, the world is destroyed and now it's mainly just a golf club for the ultra rich. So, that's, that's what we're doing here. Oh, boy, I stink. Thankfully, in story mode, you don't have to worry about, like, the pars and things like that. Wow, what a way to start the show. Anna Chichen would take my hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come in to so oh. A show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. There we go. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, Ooh. the good days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, with nostalgia for morals. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. Okay. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. Or I could be trying to get into the head of a powerful Russian who knows the world wants his phone number. That's when the psychology kicks oh, in, oh. and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. <laughs> my boss. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than sense. Screaming at waiters, because... Uh, uh. You don't drink gin out of a glass like that. And Caesar oh, I know, I know people like that. Pieces of chicken, you... Stunted fool! Stunted fool was his favorite insult. It's coming from a guy who was five foot enough. So I've also noticed that these that my life. lines, it seems like someone I a lot. is watching you play. The, the Amazon. We'll, Gulf, we'll get more into Siberia, that. Central Asia, the States, Singapore, everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. But it was fun. I mean, talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl, some strange mix of Algiers and Paris, with some sprinkle of Havana. A dancer, naturally. So pretty. She'd turn a priest's head or give a nun a. Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. Okay. First, you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty Ooh. soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. Oh, that was too hard. <sighs> the Mars project was plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently... The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe... Tesla really City. Came. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful. So I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks. Martian cement for the buildings. My pure little Emma has a future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. It's men like me who saved humanity. Oh, really? Men Is like that me so? Who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Sure, dude. You keep telling yourself that. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Oh, some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now. <laughs> that dude's like, well. Wow. main creatures. Of the world. He's like that guy wasn't evil, was he? Type B too. 
Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth. Oh, shoot. Oh. A little too much. A little too juice on that one. It's the rubber of this thing. So I I feel like, at least for me in playing this, like certain surfaces seem to have a little more, like give some catch the ball more. You know, it's most likely designed that way. Okay. I've had that happen to me so many times in mini golf. That's not even funny. Like I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> like you know, you think you're getting it up, and then oh, all the way back to it, you're like, oh. want to say the music's been great in this like really really great in this game so we got a sand trap here yep i was going to try to stop the ball but i'm just going all in let's do it Damned if you do, damned if you don't. There we go. Okay. Your home away from home. From Mars. Creatures of the world. Now that's attractive, takes us back. Stefan Milenkovic, pining for blue skies, past musing on the games we play. Ooh, so Just close. A reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior Section team leaders will convene for emergency counseling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups larger than four people at a time per team. In the interim, team
teams are encouraged to take advantage of the half ration special. Oh! Oh, mess. The delicious and relaxing drink that takes the edge off of everything. What are they feeding these people? Your meal takes us into her world of food, smells, sensuality, blue skies, and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale, fable authentique, histoire, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. I have nightmares. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia, not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I was 20, when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt different. Hey. Each country has a smell. Look at this kid. Mars doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, bananas, coconut, mama's food, ropa vieja, de la abuelita, el con gris, la yuca con mojito, the most beautiful sun in Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls, all of that make me into the person I am. So, when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. Yes. So, now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with our... In case of apocalypse, dial 1-800-HELP-US-GOD. Now... The only way I can feel <laughs> that's amazing. Ah, uh, that's lovely. I definitely like that. Huh. I'm not gonna try it. Oops. No sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti. Do I go up? How about... Let's try this. No. Beautiful. Okay. Nope, too much. Fuego. Since she's speaking in, she's singing in Spanish. Ball's going in the fuego. Oh no. What a wonderful story. Reminds us that life is about so much more than just the base survival. So much more. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. Needs no introduction. All you, all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment, relax, and remember with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Oh, this is an interesting one. Okay. A Russian and an American work together in space. A very different sight from the Cold War arms or race. Whether Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001. Melvin no, okay. Do you ski? You sing me or you come to me, you ask your notes. Our beautiful art, values and international relations, but you ask your notes. I 
Америка убила иракцев и дурачей, а это и не умыла. Она убила корейцев и вьетнамцев, распространяя демократию. Don't get me started on Stalin. Oh, ah. Oh. So close. Ah, uh, I hear you, man. They speak in two tongues, but still, for hours they talk. Man, I hear you. That's how we do it. This is a very dark game. Very dark game. Too much, yep. I think I have to get it through that second window. Oh, I should. That was good. That was good. Okay. Really? No, no, no. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Was that brutal? Fail. Mm. Oh no, oh boy. Anna Churchende and arguably the first interplanetary hit, two astronauts, an anthem to the great evacuation, and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. Some of you don't like it. But all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Oh, certainly. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony. And our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to be a new mother on Mars. <laughs> I'm so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. As angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the Ark ship. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to further human survival in our solar system. Speaking of the human project, I have some exciting news. Just a week ago, we welcomed our baby boy into the world. Words cannot express how overjoyed we are at welcoming little Maxim. 
Putting him to bed reminds me of my parents. From our window here in Tesla City, we can see the earth, tiny enough to fit in Mexican hands. It pains me that my child might never experience the beauty of okay. the in the Hamptons. Oh, in the Hamptons. The old lighthouse and the food, the houses of our friends, our evening parties, full of life compared to this barren drug attorney. I'll tell you what, these people are angry. I little Martian to sleep with a lullaby my mother sang for me. Thanks to these songs, I'm able to retain at least on a rudimentary level my mother tongue. She sang like this. What a really, really cool game. And as you can see, there's a story going on here. Besides what's going on on the radio and the stories that these people are telling, and even what the music is saying and things like that, really interesting feel. Definitely a different experience when it comes to a golfing game. So, hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to gamerquest.tv/donate, and I will see you on the next video.